Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing a um, one brand makeup tutorial so basically obviously working with one brand to obviously do my face. The brand I'm going to be working with is, as you guessed by the title is going to be with Maybelline. This is not a sponsored video, I promise. This is just all me. For the longest time now that um, a lot of people on YouTube have been you know, working with one brand on their face and etc. Then I realised that I have been working with mixed brands and not the one brand so I'm pretty sure I was inspired by um, Xanaxo mostly um, to do this because um, obviously she's put out a few videos and it's not to now it's not to necessarily copy her as such, it's just taking inspiration from her, drawing her inspiration. So what I have here is uh, Maybelline's Pressed Powder. I do have here two different um, foundations. It's gonna do the whole trick of um, a darker foundation for country mostly and a lot of foundation for obviously the highlighting of the main parts of the face. And my sound just went away. So I do have here um, 310 Sun Beige, which is obviously um, more specific for those who are fake tans, like me, or just have naturally dark skin. And I do have here 220 Natural Beige. Those for poppy still with done tan skin, but it's a little bit like tough lighter. I do also have here um, some concealer. It does look pretty pale, like a shade in between the two foundation shades. And I do also have here some brow drama. Obviously, um, is an eyebrow uh, homemade crayon. I do have here some bronzer. I can't go without my bronzer. I just love a nice bronze complexion. I do get some pencil liner, some eyeliner, then liquid liner. I do also have some color tattoo thing, which I presume is like another version of like a primer or something, because that's what I'll be using that for. Very, very small eye palette. Um, there was a much bigger one with multiple um, neutral shade choices, or there was um, a longer barred one, but um, I chose this one because it looks smaller and as small as something is, it's cheaper it is technically. And of course, I've seen this, definitely seen this one floating around on YouTube lately, um, the Lush Sensational Mascara. But I will be using all this on my face. Um, technically, these brands don't come with their own brushes, except for some bronzes and blushes. They come with little teeny tiny um, brushes, but because most of these um, brands don't have their own brushes, I will be still sticking with my Essie Beauty brushes, so yeah. The first thing first, I'm just going to pin my hair back. I know, his style crown is a bit much, but for the life of me, I can't find my um, any regular headbands in my very neat room. Because that makes sense. <laughs> so I'm just going to be using this for now. It kind of looks like a Coachella braid, a braid, a Coachella headband. Okay, so before I do begin anything, I am going to begin by moisturising. So I'm using my Johnson's Face Care Day Moisturising Cream. Okay, so I discovered these foundations are um, the ones that you have to pour into your hand. But I did also discover that this one is like that one shade darker than this one, but I also had the idea, my sister and I had the idea of actually mixing them. My face is a little, um, I don't know what to say, I'm not pale as like my hair right now. I'm very tan, so um, darker shade obviously suits the tan complexion really, really well. The darker shade, however, um, brightens me up. So we had the idea of mixing them together. A little bit more on my hand. That was a bit too much. Okay, so now taking my um, Exo Beauty flat face brush, I'm obviously going to start working this on all over my face. Okay, so foundation thoroughly blended. I'm sorry, this keeps on running away. Um, it knows what I'm doing, so I was like, <laughs> oh, this is the part where it gets. Really, really weird, but really, really interesting and really, really clever. Yeah, because the foundation was um, not considerably dark enough to um, make it as a contour shade, I'm actually going to be using this eyebrow pencil crayon, crayon thingy. I'm actually going to be using this crayon, um, brow drama pearl my crayon, as my contour, and obviously for brows. Looking very, very tribal right now. Okay, so to blend my crazy nose contour in, I'm going to be using my Extreme Beauty Angled Eyeshadow Brush. This is for eyeshadow, but I use it for my nose contour because it's small and because I can. Okay, so I'm just going to put a tiny bit more concealer on my nose. 
and I should just tap it out with my finger a little bit. So then I want to go back in with my brush and turn it bunny. I'm really, really sorry about the background noise. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my matte, matte, <laughs> the matte maker, um, pressed powder. I'm going to set my whole face with it. These powders have never got long, so I'm just dunking as much as I can. I'm just going to look my face. So I'm obviously just going to further blend that in so that it's not so cakey looking. So it's more like, um, as my skin, not so much of on my skin. The trick is to um, pounce or tap or whatever you want to put it as. Um, it's basically on this on your face, like poke the brush at your face. Don't wipe it, otherwise I would just be lifting everything up and just, you know, disturbing where everything is. Once you just, you know, obviously using fast motions to, you know, get on time, but um, you also want to just push the product into your skin. Yes, now that my powder is completely blended into my skin, I'm going to be retaking my um, brow crown thingy and of course filling my brows in. Okay, our brows are now done. Actually, look a little bit good, really, really soft, not too harsh. So now I'm going to go in with my um, color tattoo, whatever this thing is. I'm actually going to be using some primer because I'm obviously going to get inside my eyes now. It's a really, really pretty shade. I don't know if you can see that all too well. It's like a, um, it has like gold tinges and it's very similar to, um, MAC Soft Ochre and Paint Pot Soft Ochre. It's a crisp brush just to apply this to my eyes. I don't actually know if this is a, um, like a primer, but heck, that's what I'm using it for. It doesn't actually have, um, any eye primers. Oh, this is a pretty colour. Okay, so using this, um, Maybelline random, um, eyeshadow palette thingy. It does come with two cute little brushes, but I do not use those for the for me, plus they're too small and they're just fall out of my hair anyway. I'm going to be using my, get the right brush, here we go, my XTB um, eyeshadow brush, and I'm of course going to start, um, let me just swatch these. I'm going to, you can't hardly see them for the love of you, but I'm going to hit this base shade, because it also says base on it. So I'm pretty much scraping up the pigment with the brush and then just wiping it, um, or picking up the rest of the um, excess product with the brush. So they're actually pretty good um, for when you want like something that's like a smoky eye on the go. You have time to um, actually go shopping or, or anything like that. You don't have shopping to go um, purchase some proper palettes or you know you left yours behind and this was the this was the only thing in the bag. So this is looking a little bit crazy at the moment, but I'm going to go in and blend it through. This should also make for I should also make for a pretty um awesome um highlighter. So now I'm gonna go in with the lid shade. And just go over the top, dial it down a bit. In fact I'm actually gonna use my um blender brush. That's a lot better already. Okay, so with this um, line art one, that's just what it says on it, I'm actually going to be using this one as like a um, crease tone. Also making sure to keep my lid wide open and look straight ahead, just so that when I put the shadows down and put them out, I can look directly ahead and I can see what is visible. So of course when I first put it down, I'm tilting my head back a bit, but then once I've um, you know, I uh, put most of the product on my lid, I am then just tilting, um, putting my head back to normal, which is a relative term. And um, of course just continue blending on and keep my eyelid wide open. I'm going to take the exact same shade and actually on my, yeah, on my pencil brush, also from XA Beauty. I'm just going to place it under my lash line. Okay, so now with um, this crease shade, I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender up. Yeah, blender brush again. So it gives like a nice hazy effect first. And this is a beautiful, um, like a very golden purple shade. So what helps to get in these parts of the eyes is to um, somehow you can wink one eye. Or just like half close it. And of course blend your product from there on. So now for more concentrated, um, Look, I'm going to take my cre uh, pencil brush, that's what I meant to say, and of course, go in. It's not that much of a harsh colour, so you definitely have to build it up some. 
So now I'm actually going to um, blend, combine colors. We're going to combine the purple with the brown. It's about tapping off much. I'm just going to go straight in. I hope this is showing up really well on camera. Oh, we're all a bit bummed. With my pencil brush, I'm going to be taking, um, I'm also going to be using my fix spray. Alright, so this is my fix spray. I'm just going to spritz the brush. And then I'm taking the base shade, because it's very, very shimmery. I'm going to make for a perfect um, inner corner highlight. I'm going to always have to wear that into the um, inner part of the eye. Okay, so now using this Maybelline um, pencil liner, I'm going to be tight lining my eyes with this. Yeah, that's like what I was hoping to render with my lashes up, but straight for the lid it is. Okay, so I've officially put my eye out, so now I'm going to do the other side. And if ever some lines did land onto the bottom lash line you didn't want to, just pull down a little bit to expose it and just rub it away. I'm going to um, line the bottom lash line as well, just very, very softly, as yeah, softly as I can. So I'm more just like tickling at the skin. And then I'm going to take, because um, this is the duo one, I'm going to take this in and this is the rubbery thing, it's ideal for smudging the liner out. Okay, so now I'm going to take some liquid liner and as carefully and as tiny as I can when I get the damn thing open, I'm going to do my liner as um, tight, <laughs> I just draw myself. As close to the last one as I possibly can. Yeah. And then same thing on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to give it, a bit, give it a bit of a chance to dry over. And then once it's completely dried, I can't draw myself, you probably can't see that. <laughs> but once it's dried um, completely, I'm then going to go in with that purple shade again. Or that brown shade first, and that purple shade and just like, trace it over it, just like to smoke it out because obviously this is quite a very subtle smoky eye. Okay, yeah, so I had a full complete chance to dry, so now I'm going to take the brown shade first um, with my pencil brush. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with that purple shade, the exact same thing. Okay, for lashes, I am going to be using just straight up mascara because obviously any of the false lashes that I own are not of Maybelline brands, so I can't use them. The funny thing is though, my um, really old um, eyelash curls, they are of Maybelline and I completely forgot that. I'm obviously going to do something I haven't done in a very long time and curl my lashes. So now I'm going to be using the Lush Sensational um, Mascara. Damn, it is false lashes now. Oh my kidding, we all do. Seriously though, look at these lashes. I mean obviously they'll be a lot more volumized and voluminous and etc. if I um, did like one more curling and one more coats, but damn. Okay, so now for considered to be my favorite part, bronzing. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline's Dream Sun. Might even actually be a bit too orange for me, but we will see. Taking a powder brush. I think it actually does look like some rays. I'm actually totally using my brush. I'm going to be using me your contour bronzer brush. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, so you guys might have noticed that I didn't actually list a lipstick when I was showing off all the products in the very beginning of this video. Um, I already own a bunch of Mac, uh, Mac Maybelline lipsticks. In the shade I'm going to particularly be going for is in Summer Sunset. Um, it is like a reddish tone brown nude considerably. Okay, so with this definitely not made it's a Charles brand, I still don't, I still need to set my face and, well, this one's the only one that I got, so let's just pretend this is made on it. Okay, so before I completely finish up, I am going to take um, this palette thingy again, Shimmer Shade, the one that we use for the base, and because it's just the base on it. I am going to um, spritz my blender brush and... Apply shadow as a highlight. Even if it doesn't show up to save a life, at least I know that it's still on my cheek. I don't wear a highlight for the love of me, so um, anytime I can seize an opportunity to put it on, I always wear it myself. Okay, so now, not done yet, I am going to spritz it one more time, in fact, a few more times, and I'm going to take it down to the bridge of my nose. And of course, my brow bone. Okay, so this is the finished.
finished a lot. I do really hope you guys like it. So this was also a point of saying how versatile makeup can be. I should make a contour shade out of a brow product. So thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all for my future videos. Bye everyone. is it? You can cover the bumps in your face and might always still show through. I don't know.